Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Thomas. Today we're back here with Game Theory, and today, well, we're covering a game that we actually played for a video. It's Amanda the Adventurer 2. This one's called The Secret Clue Solves Amanda the Adventurer 2. So, yeah, we're out of the attic, going to the library, though, I'm not sure the character we had in the demo was the same character we had in the attic. Kind of curious to see if we'll continue that story. But I figure, let's see what Tom found out in this one. Be sure to like, subscribe for more, hope you enjoy. Let's go. Look at this hand from Amanda the Adventurer 2's demo. Count the number of fingers. One, two, three, five. four, five. That might seem pretty unsurprising, but throughout the game, we are constantly shown oh, that Amanda four. doesn't have five fingers. She has four. That single detail was enough or, to send me down it? a rabbit hole and revealed there was more lore in this small demo than meets the eye. Really? Hello, Internet! Welcome to Game Theory, the show that'll point and click on everything to find the lore. You should get your clicker fingers ready, too, because not only is there a shiny subscribe button beneath this video for you to click, mm -hmm. wink wink, but the Internet's favorite, Please albeit me, horrifying, too. version of Dora the Explorer is back, back. to once again vacantly stare into my soul. Who would you go see? If you're unaware, <laughs> this is Amanda the Adventurer, and she is the main character for a game that was initially made as part of a game jam that blew up a couple of years ago. Since then, it was turned into a full game where we try to figure out what happened to some local missing kids in our aunt's attic using VHS tapes from an old kids TV show, Amanda the Adventurer. The However, it becomes Congrats. immediately clear that something is off with this show. It discusses a lot of strange subjects like and a lot of flesh, playing with mm -hmm. knives, and if you don't answer how Amanda wants you to, she begins to freak out and turns into a monster that'll come and kill you. Kids TV or certainly he has changed since I was a kid. I'll just stick to Thomas the Tank Engine, thanks. But as you progress, Me. you have a chance to unlock secret tapes. And by doing so, mm -hmm. you begin to learn the truth about why this show is the way it is. Amanda was a real person, played by a girl named Rebecca. Rebecca. Her dad, Sam Colton, created Amanda the Adventurer and sold it to a company called Hamlin yeah. Entertainment. They were the ones who made it such a hit, but they also are the ones who made things mm. go awry. They or wanted to create an interactive show, and to do it, they tricked Rebecca into summoning a demon entity. I feel like there was an easier way to do this, but indie horror got an indie horror, I guess. Regardless, yep. one of these demons did manifest, and now it inhabits her body. It even Byron. kept the cute pigtails. But Rebecca wasn't Ooh. completely lost. No, her mind was transferred into the show. We see evidence of neurosurgical experts in the show's credits, Please, and man. whenever we bring up something from Rebecca's real life, Amanda gets mad, and suddenly the demon is knocking on our door trying to hunt us down. And the hunt has begun again, because now we have a demo for the upcoming coming mm. sequel where we are continuing our investigation at a local library. After picking up a couple of books with funny names by Puberty. QA? Poo? Puberty? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get the pun on that one. What word is Matt trying to say? Puberty. Puberty. Can you say puberty? Puberty. I get it. <laughs> Great. Thanks. You can find the code for the cabinet scrawled inside them, and that gives you access to the first of mm -hmm. two tapes this demo has to offer. They operate as expected. Click on things and type in the answers. Get them wrong, and Amanda gets mad and begins to manipulate the tapes. It once again feels very simple, but if we've learned anything from this franchise, it's, it's that anything, nothing but... is ever quite as it seems. There are secrets hiding throughout these tapes. Some of them are blinking you'll miss it moments, and others are hiding in plain sight. So grab your library cards, theorists, because we've got to hit the books to figure out what's going on in Amanda the Adventurer 2. When you boot up the game, we are met. Yeah, and also, I kind of want to point this out, but you can actually see there's some tears in, like, the Amanda the Adventurer, like, title card, as, you know, you kind of want to call it. But you can definitely see, like, the demon or whoever's in there is definitely stretching to come out. So that's got to be Rebecca, right? Though I'm not sure she would tear it, so is the demon and Rebecca one of the same? I mean, we don't know how long it's been since the incident that summoned by them, you know? Who knows, right? I'm actually kind of curious. So, who knows? There's got to be more to this story, so... Shall we learn more and see what secrets lie behind Amanda the Adventures 2 demo? Let's go! 
set with our classic CRT with Amanda's logo on the screen. Though, if you wait long enough, you'll start to see those blink and you'll miss it moments I mentioned. The screen will begin to glitch out and occasionally reveal some new messages. Words like, let me out, plastered over the screen with a hand pressed up against the screen in the top right. According to the game's Steam page, this would appear to be Amanda, who is, quote, doing everything to find a way to free herself. Although, notice the amount of fingers. This hand has five fingers. Throughout the demo, we are being shown Amanda's hand over and over again to count coins. Attention is being drawn to it, and it very distinctly only has four fingers, which is appropriately creepy for a demon child, but it means it doesn't match our hand on the TV. This cannot be Amanda speaking to us, at least not literally. Instead, it's most likely meant to be showing us the real Amanda, Rebecca, the human child whose mind was forced to live out her days inside the VHS tape. We've seen Rebecca occasionally try to break through in the past. Amanda is typically bright and cheery, but when we ask her about her dad, Sam, it leads to glitches and resets of the tape. The real Rebecca is coming to the surface. This is just another instance of that. She is trying to reach out to us directly for help. This message is from her. And while her trying to escape isn't anything groundbreaking, knowing she's the author of these messages is important because it's not the only message we get from this screen. If you keep waiting, right. something else will yeah, appear that. on the CRT. A secret I actually looked this up. And People are still trying Amanda to figure this out. While, you'll probably recognize it as the code used in the Steam demo for the first Amanda the Adventurer. In this oh. demo, the code appeared on the fridge behind Amanda and it translated to pause, turn on the oven on now. The oven. So by using those same symbols, we're able to decipher so... this new message and it reads as follows. He tried to find me. Actually, we oh. only knew it said he tried to eind me. We didn't have a symbol for the letter F, but I think we can all agree it makes sense given the context. Yeah. Regardless, who is the he she's talking about? The demon? It was hard to say, but fortunately there is another code that helps us narrow it down. On the Amanda 2 oh. Steam page, before the demo was released, there were four drawings. Oh, These yeah. are clearly made by oh, Rebecca, we got as they're all drawn Messy. from her perspective as Amanda. The entity is a meaning. She's trapped inside the TV with bars over the screen. She even references us as a new friend watching her tapes. All things that Amanda slash Rebecca has experienced. These are her drawings, but that's not all. If you mess with the exposure, you can find those same symbols hidden in each one. Putting them together gives you the phrase, it, it will, will find, find you. These you. messages initially seem to be about the same thing. You tried to find me, it'll mm -hmm. find you too. The Steam page for Amanda 2 also hints that the demon is not after just us, Amanda and looking throughout the demo, now. we can hear it crawling around the ceiling. So it would make yeah, sense even I heard that she's Yikes. referring to. But two things stood out to me. One, she said he tried, tried. to find me. We know the demon did so find failed. Amanda. She is possessed after all. So that seems to not line up. But the second thing is her use of pronouns. In the first tried message, she uses will. he, while the second uses it, which tells me that she's actually talking about two separate two entities here. Why else would she change how she refers to them? The it is almost certainly yeah, the demon that's gotta be the demon. we've already established it's chasing us in this new demo, and it's not really a guy, gal, or non-binary pal. It's a thing, a demon, a monster, an, an it. it. But then, who is she talking Who's about he? when she says he? Well, the only male character we are fully aware of so far is Sam, Sam Rebecca's adopted father and the creator of Amanda the Adventurer. Show. It would make sense that if his daughter suddenly disappeared, or he felt like his daughter was suddenly possessed by a demon, that he would go looking for the real Rebecca. Mm. It's just good fatherly behavior, which is a nice change from is our it? usual the horror fathers. But Sam is also True. missing. And in our last theory, we concluded that Sam was actually a guinea pig for the mind transfer experiments that Hamlin Entertainment mm. was doing, testing oh, yeah, it on with him Wally. before they tried it out on Rebecca. This was all because we got this VHS tape showing Rebecca on her own signing a document before being taken away to a room by members of Hamlin Entertainment. We presumed this meant Sam had already gone missing, but I'm not so sure that's the case anymore. We don't know for sure yeah. when Sam went missing. The news report doesn't give us a date. Instead, it just talks about future events being cancelled and to give Rebecca some privacy. That would make you think that Rebecca was still around prior to Sam's disappearance. But then we got this moment from the new yes, demo. Mr. Amanda Rooster. sells one of her stuffed toys, specifically a rooster. rooster. This franchise loves its symbolism, with lots right. of elements like the lonely kitten trapped in a cage from the first game representing Rebecca trapped in the TV by Hamlin Entertainment. During the What is Family tape from the first game, we also <laughs> encounter a rooster, and she asks us what it's called. If instead of rooster, we type in Sam, Sam. Amanda begins to freak 
out. What did you say? The rooster is a representation of Sam, but her giving him up like this for money feels like a reflection of that moment we saw with Rebecca signing the papers. Mm. Maybe she was given promises of money or travel, things that Sam wasn't able to give her, and so she was encouraged to cut him out of the picture. Or maybe it was to be emancipated so she could make her own decisions, or so Hamlin could do whatever they wanted because Sam couldn't stop them. Either way, yes. she's removing Sam for some kind of reward, and is then led to a guarded room and likely experimented on, turning her into the monster we know today. And if that happened, Sam would be Yeesh. trying to find her, sticking his nose where Hamlin doesn't want it, and so they would then just off. decide to dispose of him. But there is one part of our original Sam theory that this game seems to be bringing up, one that has been hotly debated since the original release of the game. Is Sam actually woolly? There are a lot of interpretations out there right now, and it's fair, we actually don't have a lot to work with. But the main reason I ask this now is because of this moment in the demo, where Amanda asks us who we'd like to go see. You can visit anyone in the world who would you go see? If you go ahead and write Sam, she'll respond like she did in the family tape from the first game. Wait, that's... However, if you yeah. instead say Wooly, you get a very different response. <laughs> yeah, if you could find him. Those are two completely so... opposite responses. Surely that means they can't be the same character. And that's true if Amanda doesn't know they're the same character. And I say that because outside of this moment, the parallels between Sam and Wooly are only getting stronger. On the penultimate mm. tape from the first game, we saw Amanda trying to do surgery on Wooly, killing him in the process on the operating table, showing that whoever Wooly is, he was operated on and turned into another character just like Rebecca was, and just like we suspect Sam to be. In this new demo, Wooly is noticeably absent. He's yeah, even no missing from the logo. And when we ask mm. Amanda about him, she she just teases us about mm. whether we can find him. Wooly is He's missing, out and there. we aren't supposed to be able to locate him, which is awfully similar to what we know mm. about Sam. He went missing at the hands of Hamlin, and no one has been able to find him yet. During the second tape in Amanda 2, mm. which is basically just a teaser for the full game, we get this moment. There's a legend that there is a special toy hidden deep in these woods. Last time we went to the woods was in the very first demo for the game, and if you remember, in that demo yeah. we were given Look. a Google map view of a circle marked in those woods. We were then given a typing prompt and the correct answer was Wooly. Wooly is what was buried in the woods. Only in that original mm. demo, the forest he's buried in was a real forest, not an animated sure. show forest. And there's only one other place we've seen a real forest show up in this series. During the news report about Sam's disappearance, yeah. we see police officers interviewing people next to the woods. Sam went missing and is likely in the woods. buried deep in those woods, just like Wooly. This is why we get this moment in the final tape from the latest demo. It makes me think about what She's looking there, look. at a dead Wooly buried in a hole in the woods. But I also suspect based on the glitches, it's a moment where we can tell her what she's really seeing. And if we type in Sam, she'll start to make the connection. Up until now, she's not been aware of who Wooly really is. He's just a buzzkill that doesn't let her do all the twisted things she wants to do. But whenever we bring up Sam, the mask begins to fall and the real Rebecca begins to shine through, trying to remember who she really is. When she comes across Wooly in that hole, something is going to click, connecting the real life burial site of her dad to the burial site of Wooly. And that is going to once again bring the real bring Rebecca back to the Rebecca. surface. And the more we can make that happen, the better chance we are going to have of freeing her. However, what? But it does sound like Amanda is actively trying to remember, or at least the show. Like, remember, anytime she starts to remember, like, wait, but that's, and it just glitches out until she's back to normal, right? So is there something in the tapes that's causing her to keep forgetting? So I'm curious what the full game is going to show, but we won't know for sure because we still don't have a release date, so we're going to have to wait and see. Really does... I'm still trying to curious what happens, but anyway... While we're trying to help Amanda, it appears like we're going to be facing some opposition going forward. No, I don't mean the demonic Amanda that's in the ceiling. I'm talking about something way worse. An opossum.
No, this isn't a joke. In the main demo tape, while oh, yeah, Amanda true. is trying to get enough coins to visit her three places, she is attacked by an Mega opossum who steals her coins away. This is clearly meant to be referencing Swiper from Dora the Explorer, a fox that would try but, to swipe mm. whatever important item they had on them. Sadly, we don't get to sit here and yell at our screen, Swiper, no swiping! Instead, we just have to click on the opossum as he runs away, which makes sense, but, you know, I'd have been up for a new game mechanic, I'm just saying. True. This might just seem like a cute little reference at first, but they show up again in the second tape to attack Amanda in the bathroom. And Amanda says something interesting. That line, who yeah, even who are even you, are set you? off my theory alarms. It makes sense for her to wonder how a pest got into her house, but wondering who they are, the only reason she'd say that is to help clue us in that they're supposed to be someone important. Plus, the types of animal characters Willy. we see in this game do seem to matter. Wooly being a sheep shows that he's just falling in line, doing what he's told him. by Amanda and Hamlin. So, I started looking into opossums to see if there was anything I could learn that might help us figure out who this is. The first thing I remembered from my biology classes was the opossum. Possum's mm. diet, and I promise I'm going somewhere with this. While they are omnivores, <laughs> meaning they Harry basically Potter eat though. anything, they're known as opportunistic so omnivores. Rather than hunting things, they will take whatever they happen to come across. And one thing that is known huh, to like include raccoons. is carrion, otherwise known as rotting, rotting flesh. flesh. Something we are very familiar with in this series. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I feel myself. Amanda's physical body is rotting away somewhere, and now, suddenly there's a creature known for consuming rotten flesh clawing at Amanda? That can't be a coincidence. And it likely means whoever Wait, or whatever the opossum is, it's more likely connected to Amanda's physical body than it is her new TV persona. However, they are also known for eating non-rotting creatures too. Most notably, despite a lot of bad press, they are considered very useful for humans, as they also eat other oh? pests like rodents. And when I think of rodents, I Hamlet. immediately think back to what we learned in our last theory. The name Hamlin comes from the story of the Piper, oh, yeah, the Piper, Piper. where the Piper lures all the rats out of Hamlin Town. When the town won't pay, he then leads all the children out of the town as well. Last time we saw that Hamlin was oh, drawing yeah, all the children away from their Lord, homes. Like they were the rats, and we believe they ended up in the show like Rebecca did, just as background mm. objects with eyes. Hamlin was consuming them for their own personal gain, just like an <sighs> opossum consumes rats. The opossum is Hamlin, either a person from Hamlin or just something put in place by Hamlin to keep Amanda on track. In the initial tape, Amanda wants us to go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. The Isle of Dead Dolls is an island Mexico. located near Mexico City, and the legend goes that a man came across a dead girl in the canal. Don't the next day, a doll floated down that same canal, so he fished it out and hung it up in the trees to ward off evil spirits. That's why Amanda asks us, Do you think that really works? She's trying to ward off evil spirits, evil spirits. the demon that is controlling her. But Hamlin doesn't want her to fend off the demon that they've tried so hard to summon, nor do they want Amanda escaping her TV prison. So, the opossum shows up and steals the coins from her hand to stop her progressing. But the connection goes even deeper when you start to look at the spiritual meaning behind the opossum. I've mentioned how the mm -hmm. opossum is this game's version of Dora's Swiper, and we did a whole theory over on our sister channel about how Swiper is actually an evil fox spirit living inside a computer game. And okay, given we're dealing it? with demons inside of a video game, it felt kind of important to check out those spirits Mm -hmm. elements too. Unlike the fox, the opossum is far less mm -hmm. common in folk Unique. tales. I can only Sorry. find a handful from North tales and South America, the and they also seem to paint the opossum as a trickster, much like their foxy counterparts. However, they are sometimes hey. shown to be different, mainly that they are foolish and vain. There's one Native American vain legend foolish. called Why oh. Opossum's Tail is tales Bear, is and bare. in it we learn the opossum is jealous of the raccoon's striped tail and wanted one of its own. Oh. It asked the raccoon how it got them and was told to wrap its tail in bark where it wanted the rings and then to light it on fire. Yeah, I think you can probably Yuck. see where this is going. It did just that, and in doing so, it set its whole tail on fire. And the burns were so bad that the fur never grew back, leaving its bare tail. To me, this reflects Oof. exactly what we've seen from Hamlin Entertainment. They were messing with forces they didn't understand, demonology, all in the attempt to make the perfect viral kid show. But their hubris caused their downfall. Much like the opossum, their plan backfired. They summoned a demon, but they couldn't control it. Control. Now it's out in the world. And the child they put into the TV is now rebelling too, talking about horrible subjects and ruining the reputation of the show. Everything went up in smoke. It might even be more literal than that too. The opossum might actually be one of the members of Hamlin we've seen, like the businessman or one of the doctors, trapped inside the show thanks to their own hubris. Now it's going to be up to us to fend off the Hamlin
Hamlin Opossum from Amanda and help her to realize the truth in order to help her escape this prison. And that, my friends, is what I predict the story of Amanda the Adventurer 2 is going to be. The only question I have left is, who was the raccoon? True. In the folk tale, it was a raccoon that led the opossum to burning its own tail. Did Hamlin think it was just too big to fail, or was there someone else pulling the strings? Another person or show Sam? they were trying to learn from who tricked them into summoning these demons, only for Hamlin to fall victim to their schemes. I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see we'll wait when and the see. full game releases later this year. In the meantime, theorists, oh, remember, it's all it's just, all a, just theory. a theory. A game theory! Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And if you want more evil- Well, we'll have to wait and see. We got a couple months till then. It's gonna be interesting to see where this whole thing goes, but let me know your thoughts early on. It would be interesting to see what happened to Wooly, but who knows, maybe he might make a comeback and they just blurred him out to make sure, you know, not to spoil anything. Who knows? I'm actually kind of curious to see what happens, but, well, as they say, we gotta wait till the fall. Till then, adios, everybody.